Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. We're going to be looking today at biology and worldview and how our understanding of biology highly reflects our worldview, that which is around us, how we view the world. I think it was Sren Kierkegaard in the 1860s, who's an interesting guy. I think he died at 42, 44, somewhere in there. And uh, like he would write dramatic books like Fear and Trembling and all this. And they came up with the word Weltanschauung, which is basically worldview. There may be even previous iterations of that word as well. I was shocked like the word communism. I was looking up, I was studying Zingli and Balthazar Hubmeyer in like 1528. Zingli had arrested Hubmeyer and put him in jail because he's a communist. And I'm like, man, I'd always heard that the uh, etymology of communism was uh, Babouf in the, the 1790s, the dude that had the foot fetish thing, Baboufism. But anyhow, so if man is divinely created by God and all life is divinely created by God, then it has special meaning. And, but if it's just a random conglomeration of atoms coming together, then it's purposelessness, hopelessness. And really, it's the Nietzschean will to power that you killed God. Nietzsche actually, you know, he, he did a couple crazy things because he's crazy, but he had some brilliance to him as well. Like he got a venereal disease as uh, some sort of uh, statement that he was doing. Then he spent the last, what, 16, 17 years of his life in an insane asylum showing that without God that uh, life is purposelessness. Um, I do find it fascinating that people like Jean-Jacques Rousseau um, were, were mentally ill, but yet he's guiding the modern world in so many ways through the social contract and the blank slate theory and various other thinking processes. And Ogles Comte, or Comte, with uh, the founder of sociology, was also crazy, certifiably so. And uh, yet here he is with, and so then Nietzsche as well. So uh, in John 14, 6, Jesus is the giver of life. He's the way, the truth, and the life. In Genesis 1, we see the beginning of biological life. Bios is life. That's a Greek term found in the New Testament. And Jesus says, my life no man takes from me, my bios, that's biology. And so zoe is a God kind of life. It's something different. It's a different kind of life. Now, we would say this is biological life. Why would that? We mean material life. Obviously, the angelic hosts, cherubs, seraphs, living creatures, and the like. And of course, God himself, archangels, angels, mighty angels. Principalities, thrones, dominions, powers, as Colossians 1 goes into that, um, were created before that. So that was not biological life. This would be material life. But not just material, but material life. So let's go to Genesis 1, 11 and 12. God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so, and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good, and the evening and the morning were the third day. So here we have life, material life, for the very first time on the third day. We also have the laws of kinds, that DNA, everything brings forth after its kind. This is DNA science. Also the laws of biogenesis. Life begets life. Non-life does not beget life. There is no spontaneous generation as uh, Pasteur showed with his Pasteur beaker having Annie Wood Bizant put curses on him and all of this. So this is the foundations of biology. And our worldview couldn't be more stark that if God created life, God is the giver of life, he is owed homage as the creator, as the giver of life. And when we get to man, then man does not biological suit, biological accident, 
consciousness coming from no no not whence but man is an intended purpose from god and every individual has a purpose has a book written according to psalm 139 verse 13 16. so much there so this is the beginning of biology and worldview and uh, from a christian perspective god bless you we love you bye-bye